Dr. Craig John from Gallery Cosmetic Surgery, located here in Linwood, Washington, just north of Seattle. And we're here to do some procedures on facial rejuvenation, basically concentrating on non-surgical ways to facially rejuvenate an individual. So today, uh, the first procedure, we have Katie, who is our esthetician. She's going to be doing uh, IPL, which is uh, short for intense pulse light, or a photofacial, in which light energy is used to treat the areas of the skin. And what it does is help soften some of the effects of aging. Some of the effects of aging are environmental in nature of the skin that causes little capillaries to come to the surface, maybe some sunspots, some pigmentation areas. And the whole idea is that the energy is superficially placed across the tissue and it's absorbed from the areas that are uh, the object, which is in the red capillaries or the melanin in the pigment. It allows it to be disrupted and then the body's natural uh, healing process allows that to be discarded and allows for a smoother, cleaner uh, facial appearance. Uh, filler injections for it. You want to replace the volume of some of the areas that have kind of shown some areas of uh, deflation and descent. So we're going to put in our local anesthetic just to make the area known. This is going to be the uh, site where we place our microcannulas to help augment those areas of uh, deflation. So we put a little pinch. You doing okay? Yep. Yeah. Good. And we're going to do this in preparation. So when we use the cannula versus a needle, the cannula is similar to a needle except it is no longer a sharp edge and it's flexible. So it reduces bruising anywhere between 70 and 100 percent and it actually makes it less painful, makes it a little bit more comfortable. And the other important part of it too is even the movement of it through the tissues actually even creates some stimulation in the dermis to get some repair and filling action that we're trying to incorporate. In women's eyes, the brow tends to want to be a little bit of an elevation or curve at the lateral aspect of where we see the color portion of our eye. And so here you can see we've kind of elevated this and increased this area where the tissue has been filled. And so if we turn this way, we can already see that the elevation of the brow has been obtained just in that little bit of filler. And so the amount of filler that we use is very small amounts. And so you can see this area has been softened along the bridge where this is here. And you can see there's a better definition and filling of this area along the side with some elevation of the brow just in that little bit that we did. Done. So now we're going to move towards the lower, the mid-face area, where we're going to begin to inject to fill some of the areas around the lower orbit and the lateral aspect to build some what we call bizygomatic width. We want to raise where that cheek should be in a higher elevated position and have it supported so then it gives more youthful contours. So you can see we've evened out the lower areas of the cheeks, the folds. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get ready to do a little bit of the subdermal heating with the Sinusure Smart Lipo Triplex unit that allows us to use two different forms of heat to heat the tissues, undermine and contract the tissue. So we're going to kind of get started with that. You okay? Mm -hmm. Good. So we can see already it's kind of helping redefine this lower jawline just by the initial heating and subtraction of that area and heating and dissolving some of that fat. So our next step is we're going to do the fraxel repair by Sulta Medical in which the fractionated CO2 laser is going to allow for a complete resurfacing of the epithelium and stimulating the dermis, so it's regenerated by improving the skin texture, tone, fine lines and wrinkles, and also getting some of those deeper pigmentation changes that the IPL was unable to get. And what she may feel during this procedure is a little heat, 
and that's why we added topical to begin with and gave her some of the local anesthetic from the underlying filler substances to try to make this a little more comfortable for her.